Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and it's me again Angelica and today finally I decided to do my video which I've wanted to do it for the longest time. I'm going to talk about my favorite foundations, concealers, blushes and bronzers. So if you don't know me, my name is Angelica, I like everything was related to skincare, fashion, traveling, rating of restaurants, uh, hairstyle, Obviously, makeup, colorful makeup with a new touch. I'm also a dance instructor who loves to dance and teach. And today we're going to um, see what product is my favorite product. So stay tuned and let's start it. The first things I'm going to talk, it's about foundation. And there is different kind of foundation, including BB cream uh, and I'm going to choose um, several of them also because they are different range of prices so it depends what you're looking for if you want to spend more money uh, or you want to spend less money it's for everybody so the first more affordable very affordable product and if um, now we're going to the winter but even those uh, during the winter we have a strong sun especially here in canada if you not notice when you're driving a car the sun really really strong and what i advise to you know be more affordable and if you don't want to put a lot of coverage i would say it's a medium coverage this is beautiful bb cream and i'm i talk about this bb cream many many times in my channel i want to bring it again first of all it's a korean brand very affordable spf 45 and i like especially the shimmering one which is not give you a shimmers it's not like a shimmers i'm going to show you um if you're following me i'm sure you probably see me using it and abusing it this is i think number four i have so normally I order it through Amazon straight from Korea. This is the consistency is very soft, but it has a coverage. So at the same time, you protect your skin from the sun and you put some coverage. So you don't need to do like two steps routine. I would say first you put SPF and then and normally I'm pretty bad. Sometimes I forget to put SPF. So if I use BB, I know I'm already protected. So I really advise to check it out. I'm going to put everything in my description below where I purchased, especially this one. Make sure it said the sellers is from Korea so you will really receive original uh, product. And this is brand is Holika Holika. Really recommend, especially if you don't want a lot of coverage on Okay, this. the other foundation okay, I the want to show you, which I uh, really, loving it and maybe a lot of you love this foundation it's foundation from tarta and it's double duty beauty and this is is face a tape foundation i really really love this foundation many people have a different opinion but it gives me a such a great coverage and it's a very a light on your face i have color 22n it's it's a light a neutral and i have another color which is darker i believe a 29 also neutral which is just another neutral after 22 i use it uh 29 during the summer when i uh, have a tan and this i use it during the winter i really enjoy this foundation i don't know if people complain about found this foundation it's very very liquidish i would say very liquid as actually the highest brand right now and a look at this a beautiful very soft look feels like a i would say like a lotion like lotion you put in your skin very beautiful look at this a slight glow you will have this glowing effect and I really enjoyed this foundation. Really advice. Also pretty affordable. And you know Tarte has a lot of uh, sales during the year. Or just overall. So you can really easily get 30% off. Just wait for their sale. Next foundation. Uh, which is not. It's, it's a foundation. But I, would, I use it 
uh, as uh, adding in my foundation is from elf hello glow and as you know a lot of you it's kind of like a same thing like a charlotte tilbury uh, filter uh, which at the beginning i didn't know and i use it as it is and i was glowing like a the crazy woman it was too much glowing so what i normally do and by the way i have a color which is fair light and i was thinking maybe it's going to be too light for me but it's uh, really not so this this is how the color look it's and look how much glow it gives you so i really love to mix with my foundation if i want to more glow so i, I just mix it up or just put dot on my face or if you want particular sp uh, spot like here for example glowing you can do this with this beautiful applicator as you see over here so it's very convenient very affordable i think i paid can't remember 15 canadian dollars i think i think i also uh, get it on sale so very very nice product i really really enjoying it to mix it with my foundation and before we go just if you want to be more glowy if you like like me i always talk about this product this is just the one product i'm going to bring as a primer and this is also korean brand it's called it's actually said glow and it's from misha glow skin balm i love this product smells amazing you see how much i abuse it this product is something when you put this product it's first uh, of all you, um, uh, such a hydration for your face before you put anything in your face like foundation and then it gives you this smooth effect and glowing and it's only good things inside here hyaluronic everything is good for your skin so it's like win-win situation for you i really recommend it and very affordable at the same time i'm sure it's it's like i tried the other brand like tasha and the other one um primer i think this primer is still very very great quality and very affordable price so continue with my foundation okay okay this two other foundation i purchased a not that t a long time ago because they are new especially the one is dior it's actually a reformulated uh formula for the older uh, dior and this one i have forever skin glow dior and i really enjoy this foundation yes it's a, a more expensive but um you getting 30 mil and uh, basically they all kind of in the same range of price if you go for a higher brand uh, except Guerlain and another one I'm going to show you George Armani they're pretty expensive so this one I have a 1.5 N which stands for neutral and um, I really enjoyed this this foundation it has also some skincare inside so it's a very it's a buildable i would say but if you don't want to you want a very a light uh, coverage you can also do with it so you can build the way you want i really enjoy also the structure as kind of the same as this very kind of liquidish like let's put over here i just will do one drop so look at this also kind of liquid but i would say a less liquid than the um, uh, face tape look at this look at this coverage i mean one drop can cover all your face it's very very smooth and very nice and hydrated foundation i really enjoy this foundation can't tell anything bad about this foundation I think it's, it's a lot of stuff. Another more expensive foundation, and that's the reason I want to try this George Armani foundation. And this is how it's look like, and it's called Lum Luminous Skin Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. And I bought a smaller one, so if you don't want to go for a, a big amount of money and you don't know if you're going to like it you definitely can get the smaller one which is 18 mil so i get this not mini but it's a half 
of Yagoro Foundation. So normally it's 30 mil, I get 18 mil and the price is basically the same. So if you don't know or you don't want to spend that much money, you can definitely go for a smaller one and try if you like. So this one also has a pump and it's pretty similar with Dior. Quite similar consistency, the same thing. Uh, the color is more or less the same. Um, if I look here, they're pretty the same. It depends also of the glass of this foundation, how it's reflect. I really enjoy, I uh, use this foundation for special occasion because I don't have it a lot and is the most expensive one. But would I say it's big difference between this this two you have to pay double i don't think so it's nice i can't say anything but do i see a big big difference i don't think so so if you don't want to spend that much money go for dior i think i cover all my favorite foundation so uh, let's go for concealers okay. the concealers i have um I would say I will have four concealers and one is kind of like a between because it's not a real concealer. I would say I will put on top of the concealer, but if I don't want a big coverage under my eyes, like very little coverage, I just put that one. Let's start with that as soon as long I'm talking about it. And this is a Fenty Beauty. This is a bright fix, eye brightening, illuminator contour for the eyes so that's why i can't call it really concealer this is as a brightening your eyes and i really enjoy this uh brightening fixer i have a golden ivory number two and especially for people who has a problem or have a darker circles under the eye or they just want generally a lightening brightening up and give that extra extra wow effect grab this try this it's a really great script and you really didn't need a lot and i like this applicator you squeeze a, a little bit and you just put dots over under your eyes very very convenient applicator and uh, you don't really need a lot of product so it will last you uh, for a long time I have 10 mil actually that's a pretty big amount of brightening uh, contours I really enjoy if you're interested to brightening your eyes uh, try, try this okay let's, let's talk, talk about, about my four other concealers my favorite and of course I have to uh, include Tarte ultra creamy shape tape and I am doing a big um, stress and ultra creamy it has to be ultra creamy they have a different kind there and this is my favorite it has a great coverage it has a great consistency and i feel there's another one newest one i forgot the name i think it's called glowy or something i still think this is better i tried the other one i still prefer this one over the other one especially if you need more coverage under your eyes go for this one i my color is 22 and i like the one i have for the winter my um my foundation but normally i go lighter but this concealer actually is lighter than foundation so be careful don't think that is the same uh, shade okay the other concealer i've been having this for a while it's a from huda beauty uh, this concealer and it's called a four filter concealer and I really enjoy this concealer the only things I don't really enjoy that the products a lot of products go go over the concealer I don't know why but every time I have to clean that's the only concern I have about this concealer my color is coconut flakes 2.7 M and this is a beautiful beautiful concealer but you know what normally i use it as a um, kind of like a foundation you know when you have a go over you put foundation and then you take your concealer and you put uh somewhere where you want more coverage normally i use 
this guy for that reason. Not as, as much as uh, my under eye. I think I have better concealers than that for my under eyes. I think it's also because of the color, but it's beautiful, beautiful uh, concealer in my Okay, opinion. the other concealer okay. which I use as a concealer and I like it, it's from Clinique. I think it's not enough vibe for this concealer because it's a beautiful, beautiful concealer. It's even better all over concealer plus eraser. I really enjoyed this concealer. It's a very smooth consi consistency. It doesn't give me dryness under my eyes. It's beautiful. I really, really love it. It has this sponge, but you see, I use it once and that's it. I never come back again. I use it on my sponge normally, but really loving it. it this is one of my favorite. The latest concealer I have, and this is going to be my last concealer from my favorites, it's Tower 28. And I purchased not long time ago, when was a uh, Sephora sales, and my color is DTLA. This a beautiful, a beautiful concealer. I'm sure you heard about this concealer. And I decided to buy because it's also like for people who has a dry skin. This is the application. This is the color. I'm going to swatch it for you. Beautiful, beautiful uh, consistency. Look at this. I just put a little bit and look how much it covers. I really enjoy this concealer. I use it under my eyes. I use it as a sports. I use it abuse. Oh, so this one has nine. Wow. So don't forget this concealer has nine mil. It's all over. You see how it's dirty because of that issue I have with this concealer. So this is the biggest concealer, nine mil. Another six mil. And this one is six and a half mil. So just be aware how many products in inside. And this brightening one, it's look petite, but it has 10 mil of products. So to be aware. Okay, and I think that's it from my favorite concealer. And now we move on to favorite uh, bronzer. My favorite and oldest bronzer, I would say, is from NARS. It's Laguna. And uh, I'm sure I hit the pen. Did I? Yes, I did hit the pen. As you see how much I use, abuse, and my mirror is super, super dirty. So look at this. And this is the one, it's not the matte. This is the one, it has a little bit of shimmer. I really enjoyed this bronzer. And even now, I like, uh, you know, creamy bronzer. This is like older one. I think they have a new one also. But it's one of my favorite bronzer. The other one is very affordable bronzer from... Juvia's Place, my color is medium, is an older one too, so it has a contour and bronzer. Look at this, I really love this, very easy to use, very affordable, but I really enjoy this bronzer. The quality is great. Another two, creamy concealer, uh, more affordable I would say, and last will be a high brand. I have over here, I talk about this bronzer a lot in my channel. This is two of them, and I even did a short video I'm going to put in my description below the link well, how, I, how I use this to compare them with everything and even with the price. So this is a bit cheaper than the Rare Beauty, and this LYS has a more products, a slightly more product. Let's say the more or less the same, but this is cheaper one. Uh, when I use they, uh, these two bronzer, they're a little bit different. Uh, first, they're different with the uh with the color so the rare beauty one the one i have happy soul it doesn't has a reddish undertone which i love it and this why i prefer i like this color a lot uh compared to the lys i has the color no limits harmony and this one this triangle on my hand is also brown but just darker brown but when I put on my forehead, I felt it a bit reddish undertone. Maybe when I start to display it, let me do like that. I don't think so. On my hand, I don't even see reddish, nothing reddish, right? Hmm. Anyway, 
I was, I like both of them, but I think I like slightly more this undertone. I don't know for some reason, but, but I prefer LYS because I use a less product. I, I need a less product to really be visible and displayed. I think this one is um, more visible. So it depends also what you prefer. If you prefer a less visible, you can go for this one and pay a little bit more money. I think it's 36 and this is 27, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's like a 10 bucks different. And this one you need a really little and you will have, but also it's a buildable, but you have to be careful with this, a less than this. This one you can just put it and it's not going to be that intense. So this is the difference I found. And also it's a preference of the color. But I felt like if I buy this, it will last me much longer, this Rare Beauty. But the both amazing. If I like to have them both. It depends on my mood. If I really want to do very, very fast and uh, I don't care how much I put, I go for this. If I want more intense and uh, less put in my uh, less product, I go for this one. So you choose which one is suitable for you. But the both my favorite. And the other one... My absolutely favorite, but it's, uh, I would say, the most expensive from my uh, bronzer. It's from Chanel. And this is a cream bronzer. Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. My color is 395. And, okay. You know how Rare Beauty is, or LYS, is very easy to blend, is very smooth, but this is a stick, right? This one, I felt it's even more. Like it's it's more than that. Uh, it's not a stick, but it's a cream. It's like that. And I'm going to also put it right there, the color. I should have actually done this maybe with other products. So this is, which one? This is the one, yes. So look, they're all kind of the same. Actually, this is more uh, close to this color, which is Rare Beauty. So that's why I told you, this one is a little bit different color, undertone. So this is a really kind of like a Rare Beauty, but it's such a, like it's like a butter. You uh, use your brush, I use brush normally, my, uh, I don't have it here, my from uh, a rougher. I use that brush, which is angle brush, and I just put a little bit and I go like a butter. You don't really need to do much blending. It goes itself. Like it's such a magical bronzer. I can't even tell you a lot of good stuff about this bronzer. It has no time to blend, even compared to Rare Beauty. If you think the Rare Beauty has no time to blend, this is even better. But again, the price is different. This is 36, this is 50. And how much uh, we have? Oh, now I know. So this is 15 grams. And this one is seven. So don't think this is cheap. This is actually cheaper because seven and seven and 14, it's 14 grams. So 36 plus 36, we're looking around 70 bucks and this is 50 and it is 15 grams and it is very high brand you see you really need to think this way how many grams of products you are getting not ju just to be full this is very affordable and that's why it's i run out very quickly of this so this will last me forever when i start to put a link on my description box i found that this bronzer cost 62 dollars so i went and I check my receipt and I paid $50 for this bronzer. That is the craziest things is ever happened with me. Is anybody know why that's happened? Anyway, even if it's $62, if you think Rare Beauty, seven grams, two of them, 36 plus 36 is 72 Canadian dollars, which means for 15 grams, you paying only $62 which I pay even 50, it means that it's still cheaper than a Rare Beauty, but definitely better quality 
in my opinion. Double. And it's such a great product and it's made in France and it's, and it's smells, I mean, that's it. I think next time if I decided to get a bronzer, I'll go for this one. No more Rare Beauty, no more LYS. I'm just going to go for this one or something like this if there, uh, any brand will get something like this i will definitely prefer to buy this instead of this you see i didn't even know that sometimes it's very good to do video when you realize how many details and how much is important to assume about the price when you see what amount of products you're getting and then you compare the actually the quality yeah that's a surprise for me so that's a good to know Anyway, I hope it was useful. Let's move on to one of my favorite uh, topics is blushes, right? Blushes is, very blushes is very important for your uh, makeup because blush give you a kind of uh, a life, like cheer, I would say, uh, when you do your makeup, especially if you use foundation and you kind of like a white, like a ghost, when you put a blush, that create a totally different picture with your makeup. The first blush I'm going to show you, actually there is a three blushes from the same brand and it's ColourPop, very affordable. If you're looking for something affordable, here we go. I actually purchased more blushes in ColourPop, but let me tell you something. This so far is my favorite one. That's why I want to show you and Mm, if you decided to and you don't know what you want to buy in ColourPop because there's so many blushes there, maybe it will help you to make your decision, especially if you like pink and coral. So I have pink and coral over here. And the first color I want to show you, it's this beautiful heart. Look at this. I mean, if you want to buy it for the gift, for example, upcoming Christmas, does you think it's cute and this is how the packages look like? Look how cute is this? I mean, it's so affordable, but it's a great, great quality. So this first shade, I mean, you can choose from this card. They have a different colors, obviously. And this is the color. Look at this color. I mean, this is like a dupe for Dior. Honestly, but this one is first of all more affordable and second of all uh i think it's more pigmented than dior the one you have to build it up and this called hot to touch hot to touch amazing 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 blush what about this blush how great is this blush it stays for all day i abuse and use this blush a lot and believe me i have high brand blushes like uh, Patrick Ta, you know, the palette, which is also good, older one. Uh, they have also this kind of colors there, something like this, beautiful, baby pink as well. But if you don't want to spend this much money, this is to go. This is the one to go. Okay, the other one from the same brand and the same heart, which I'm absolutely obsessed. I mean, if they get other color like the one coral I like or something else, I'm definitely going to purchase that. And this color is a bit a lighter color. It's more like a very pale pink, but you will think, oh, it's not going to show on your, on your cheeks. No, it's actually such a gorgeous color. And this color is called Sweetheart. I actually use these two blushes in my shorts and create the eye look with uh, using a uh, super shock shadow, eyes, eyes dream, I think that's called. And it's so gorgeous, believe me. This is like a multiple functional blushes, which is very affordable and a great, great quality. And sometimes what I do, I use two of them. For example, I put uh, lighter and then I go with a darker one so you can do your own blush you can mix them up you can do whatever you want to do 
and the other one from ColourPop. I couldn't believe my band, my favorite blushes is from ColourPop, most of them. There will be only one high brand, which I like. So this is another one blush because I want something different because I like corally colors as well. And this one is Papaya. I really impressed how good is this blushes. Look at this color. First of all, I'm going to swatch it. So look at this papaya. Actually, I have it right now on my cheeks. I'm going to demonstrate it for you more. Just apply more so you can see. It's it's a very pigmented blush. Don't get me wrong. You have to be careful with these colors. Only these colors is forgiven because it's very pale. So you can put it as much as you want. So I grab it. I look at this I just want you to see how beautiful is this it's this blush I don't want just to put too much and look like a clown but a look at this are this gorgeous and it's it's a fraction of of um, you know amount of money you paying it's a really affordable blush and look what it give you. It give you a such a great, I mean, I put a lot and you have to remember in the camera, it's because I'm far, you see less than it's in the real life. So normally when I do it for my tutorial and I put, and then I look in a real life, I look like a clown. So you really need a little bit. I'm just trying to, just make it a bit less because it's very very pigmented so you have to be careful so great colors look at this okay this is for affordable one or it's great to give if you know that they like uh you know makeup it's a very good gift anyway. okay before we go into my last blush which is high brand uh, I want to actually mention how many milligrams you have of this product. So in the heart, you have 4.5 grams of the product. And in this guy, wow, you have a 6.0 grams, 6 grams, and this is 4.5. Yeah. So 6, 4.5, if you're interested about uh, amount of products but they're very affordable so if you like to any of this color it doesn't matter what how many grams it says i think because they are affordable and amazing okay my okay, last bye. Uh, blush it's from uh Givenchy, and i'm i'm sure you heard a lot about this blush i decided to try this blush when it was a uh, sale on at sephora and my color is number three vile coral and i mean that's a beautiful beautiful uh design i mean i love it it's like an actually it is a mirror you can check it out and when you open it has a four different colors inside as you see i use it so look at this so it depends for example if you want more of this color or this color or you want four of them, you can actually create and use uh, your own color. It depends. You can mix them all up, of course, or you can just use each of this box. And here we go. This going to, you will have five different shades. Each of them one, and if you mix, it's another shade. Very smart, but it's not easy to do it, to be honest. You have to kind of close the holes somehow and make sure that the product will come out okay this is the most expensive one i can't remember how much i paid but you can check it out bought it in 20 percent 20 percent of sale in and sephora and i enjoy this color i like it i like the quality i like everything um do i think it's like necessary or is it a big difference or i was just blow away i wouldn't say that yes it's beautiful it's very beautiful packages it's high brand it's it's uh, nice the quality is amazing but if i put this 
or I put this. It's, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you think this stays longer than this, but I didn't think so. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love this product, but I don't think it's necessary to spend that much. Of course, if you want to feel like a queen and you want these packages and you just have it Givenchy, yes. But some products, I agree, like this guy. Where is this? Like this bronzer, I agree. It's worth it because the amount of product you're getting and the product itself, the quality, it's beat all of them. This one, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see how many grams it's here. Maybe it's kind of, but that affordable one, you can't beat the price for sure. But I'm just, it's, um, okay. It's set four by 1.12. So each of the section of the square has one gram, let's say. So let's say it's four and a half grams of product. Over here of the product. Okay which is make that this one guy is more. I don't think it's worth it, but I think the bronzer is worth it. Price is the same, even cheaper than Rare Beauty. You're getting twice more product, 15 grams, while you have seven grams here, and you get an exclusive, amazing quality of products. Okay, and the last things what I want to show you, uh, as you know, I have a dry combination skin and I don't normally bake or use mm, powder. Uh, when you're getting old and you have so many wrinkles and you have whatever texture, when you put, I feel like when I put uh, any powder, it's just emphasize everything. I tried so many, I tried uh, the Huda Beauty one, and I tried the other one, uh, the Fenty. I tried so many, but none of them give, uh, I was satisfied. I still believe that, yes, it settle your makeup, but it's given like a dryness and it's emphasis. I didn't like it. I even returned the Huda Beauty one. I told you before, if you watch me, it uh, doesn't work with me and I think the older you are as long as you're not an oily skin I don't think it's appropriate or it's a great idea to put a powder okay maybe powder in some places when you get oily but honestly I try everything it doesn't work with me but I find a solution and my solution is this beautiful and I'm sure you saw it in my channel if you follow me it's from Guerlain and it's called meteorites uh, pearls uh, basically it's illumination powder i have a number two and this one is amazing look at this smells oh my god i wish i can have if if you know perfume smells like this please let me know i love this smell it's like a, this powdery such a gorgeous smell i can't even explain you see there is have a different kind of uh these pearls inside that's the reason why i choose number two because it has more this bluish and purplish which actually fix your discoloration so basically what i do when i finish my makeup and i feel like i want to settle and i want whatever i just go with my brush i put two links for this product and by the way in a shopper drug marks this powder is cheaper by twelve dollars than at Sephora because it has this pearl. It's uh, not a reflection. It's just a, give this. I don't know how to explain because it's so defined this powder, and just give the natural glow. That's how I will explain. Which this what we're looking for. We don't want to look too matte. We don't want to look oily. We want to look like this, glow naturally without extra glow, let's say. Because a lot of people don't like that. Me, I don't mind, but this is a solution for people who have, like me, over 40, have a dry skin or combination skin, but they don't want to emphasize the wrinkles. 
I mean, I'm so glad that I found you. And this been f for many years. My mom actually had it like ages ago, but she actually used it, but she didn't understand much. And after, I don't know how we discover, how we, how I come back to this. I have no idea, but I glad that I discovered this. I mean, this is something, something. So I think that's it. I think I cover everything what I want to share with you today. And I am glad that I did this video because I was want to do this video for the longest time, but I get more products which I actually fully tried and can give you a full opinion about this products. It's not like, oh, I tried a little bit and I'm not sure. I 100%. What I told you today, it's a 100%. I've been using, abusing, trying, and definitely this is all my favorites so far. If I discover something else, definitely I'm going to let you know. And I'm going to do the uh, one of the brands which I enjoy, this is going to be a next video if you're interested or looking to, or looking, uh, or you don't know what to give for the presents, this is can be one video for you because it's uh, pretty affordable right now. It's not really affordable, but now it's affordable because they do a great sales right now. So I'm trying to put this video so you can get a hand of it. So let's do that. And I think that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching me. Thank you very much for supporting me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. As you know, I want to grow my channel to create and to share uh, with a lot of topics, as I mentioned before. So I see you soon. Пока-пока. Bye-bye. And have a wonderful and beautiful day. Depends where you are.